the watershed coordinator for the Curry's Fork Watershed based in Oldham County. And today I'm going to show you how to install an earth minded rain barrel kit. So this is my rain barrel right here. And one of the reasons that you might want to install a rain barrel is if you have a garden that needs watering. So I'm actually going to install this on the front corner of my house. I'm working on building a pollinator garden, adding native plants, a few berries, herbs, and so it's going to be really awesome in the summer to have this extra source of water. So I'm going to move over here to what comes in your earth-minded rain barrel kit. You have multiple instruction guides on how to install your rain barrel. You've got your diverter, your hose, your spigot, your gaskets here, your hole saws, and your screws, as well as your cover for your diverter in case you decide to take that out in the winter. Some additional things that you're going to want to have handy include a pair of gloves, some safety glasses, a drill, a screwdriver, marker or a pencil to mark your gutter. You're going to want to level, measuring tape, and then having soap to help lubricate the gaskets is also really helpful and you'll see that soon. So once you decide where on your house that you want to install your rain barrel, there's a few important things to keep in mind when prepping your site. So one of them is that if you plan to use a hose on your rain barrel to get the water out, you're not going to have a lot of pressure. So there's not going to be that um, big force that you'd find when you use a hose uh, at your house now. I've just used cinder blocks here. You can get these uh, at like Home Depot or Lowe's. They're about a dollar each if you want to do something a little bit more aesthetic or fancier, you can do that too. But just remembering we wanna have a raised platform here to keep our rain barrel high up. The other piece of this is that I've already made sure to level this out. So we wanna make sure our rain barrel is sturdy. Uh, a gallon of water is gonna be really heavy. So if you've got a 50 gallon rain barrel, that's gonna be a potential risk, especially if it could fall and you've got um, kids around or anything like that. So we wanna just make sure that our rain barrel is secure here. So I've got it level, I've got my site prepped, and now I'm ready to move back to my rain barrel. So this rain barrel has two different holes right here. I've already got the cover on this bottom portion, and I'm going to show you how I put the spigot on this hole here. What I'll likely end up doing is attaching a hose to this long term, keeping the spigot on, but they're interchangeable. The exact, they're the exact same uh, sizes, and they have the exact same gasket that you'll use here. So I mentioned when you want to get out some extra components to help you that soap is really helpful. So that's just going to help lubricate this right here. I've added a little bit on and this can be a little bit tricky to fit in the hole. You kind of just want to squeeze it. There's a few different ways to do it and let's see if I can get this in here. Eventually, there we go. All right. Got that in there, and then I've got my um, spigot right here. And this is just gonna turn and fit into here. It's not going to tighten uh, specifically all the way, so you can kind of keep wrapping it around, but it's gonna create that seal that you want so there's not water leaking out of your barrel. And I'll just line that up with the top. And now we're ready to set our barrel up here on these concrete blocks. Got my safety glasses on, my gloves on. So when setting this up, we just want to make sure that our spigot is facing the direction that we're going to want to use, um, use a rain barrel. I'm going to want to get the water out of the barrel from the front side here. I confirm once again that this barrel is level and it's not touching the back side. Uh, the back side is not touching my house. So our rain barrel kit comes with these hole saws. So uh, I'm going to turn this around just to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. So there's a flat piece right here that's on this barrel and there's a hole right here. So I'm using the smaller of the two hole saws and I'm going to cut a hole right into this flat part. There we go. Now we're ready to make our hole on our gutter. Basically what I needed to make sure was that I was lining up the top of the rim of this barrel with the gutter. So that's what you're gonna wanna do here. So this is where your level comes in handy and you're gonna wanna make sure that we've got the top of the rim of your barrel with our gutter. And so I already did this, like I said, I made a line, this top line and this is going to be level 
with this gutter. One of the main reasons it's really important to make sure that your rain barrel is level with your gutter is we just don't want our barrel to overflow or the water to not go into the barrel at all. So if our hose is too high up compared to our barrel, the barrel is going to overflow. Vice versa, if that hose is too low, that water is not going to make it up into our barrel. So just making sure we're level here. So I've got this line here. And then the next thing I did was I measured three inches down. And this measurement is based on the size of our diverter. So I went from the top here, measured three inches down, and made a second line. And then I just marked a dot in the middle of that second line there. And now we are ready to drill our second hole into our gutter with our larger hole saw. So this part is really important to wear safety goggles because we're going to drill right into our gutter and there are going to be some little shards of gutter that might fly off. And now we've gotten this hole drilled. Uh, that metal piece, I'll just gather it from the gutter down later. I want to make sure we don't forget about that. Uh, we're all set with the drill now. Just going to take that and put that down here. And now we're ready to attach our diverter. So these earth-minded diverters are really neat because you can turn them one way or another depending on if you're trying to collect water into your barrel or not. And so if you've had a lot of rain, maybe you haven't had a chance to use the water in your barrel, you're ready for that water to discontinue down into your gutter, you can simply turn it around the other way and that water will slide around the diverter and go back into down your gutter. So I'm going to have this facing up so I want it to collect water from my rain barrel and I'm going to fit it into here into the hole that I just made. Okay the next part we're going to come back over to our barrel here and we're gonna fit our gasket into this hole into our barrel. So again, these can be a little bit tricky. Soap does help. Okay. And the next part is we can connect our hose from our barrel to our gutter. Okay, first I'm gonna connect this into the barrel here. And similarly, if you're having trouble getting that fit tight, you can use a little bit of soap. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm going to turn my barrel a little bit just so I can make sure I can get this fit snug. And I'm just going to push this into here. What I'll come do after it rains the first time, I'll come check it out, see what's going on, make sure it's functioning properly. If for some reason you realize you installed this maybe too low or too high, you can always come change it out. Uh, if you decide that maybe you don't want the rain barrel any here anymore, you could always just replace this gutter piece. So you haven't really done uh, damage that you can't undo. I think we're all set here. The last piece is just to put the top of the rain barrel back on. And I'll just show you this one more thing here. So this barrel specifically, it comes with the option where you can turn it upside down and it has a little grate here that I can add on for the water to go through. And that's if you want to put a plant on the top of here. So you could set it in upside down, put the plant in, make it look nice and pretty. For now, I'm just going to keep it right side up and I'm going to set it on here. Make sure it's snug. And there you go. We've installed our rain barrel. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to get involved in our group meetups, we have a pollinator meetup. You can also find us on Facebook. That's Curry Spork Watershed at facebook.com to learn more about how you can help nature on your property. We're doing a lot of promotion of pollinator gardens, rain gardens, and overall stream health. So I hope you'll contact us if you have any questions or concerns.